Libra, this is going to be your love reading. Thank you for tuning in. This is Pretty back with another one. So let's check in on your love life. This is mid energies for February, mid month. Let's see what is coming to you in love. Libra. Okay, Libra, you have make the effort. Great love is worth um, taking the steps that you're guided to take. And you also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Interesting. All right. Libra. It's coming to Libra in love, Libra. <clears throat> okay. Libra, you have the uh, King of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be connecting with a Taurus um, or really any of the earth signs. Okay, let's come into Libra and love Libra. Let's come into Libra and love Libra, Libra. Okay, I feel like somebody has a lot of baggage. This could be um, mental, financial, emotional baggage here. Uh, it kind of feels like somebody's a little like afraid of this connection. Or just kind of like apprehensive, obviously. Um, let's come into Libra in love. Let's come into Libra in love, Libra. Okay, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I feel like you definitely have somebody who's, um, I feel like this person is interested in you, Libra, but it's all a matter of just kind of like coming from behind the walls here. Okay, because I feel like somebody has their guard up. And it could be because, obviously, they haven't yet processed something. And that something is different for all of you. But it's saying that it's worth the effort. It's coming to Libra and love. I mean, for some of you, are a little bit, like, aggravated a little bit with this King of Pentacles. Um, or frustrated with them. Maybe, you know, maybe they're experiencing money issues or they're, like, moving a little slow, okay? Or they're just not really, like, opening up as quickly as you want them to, Libra, um, is what I feel. You have the Ace of Swords. This King of Pentacles could be anyone, by the way, okay? Just coming to Libra and love. But we also have Air Energy, um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay, but yeah, that's what I feel here. Um, and it could just be a, a thing of just kind of like talking things out, I feel. Um, that literally could be all that's needed, you know, just to have like a conversation with each other. But I do think this King of Pentacles here wants to have a conversation with you. Male, female, does not matter. Um, and perhaps they just want to like tell you what's been on their mind. Or they just want to clear some things up with you. Okay. So I'm even getting, this could even be your current partner. And you're wondering if you should like kind of release this because I do feel like you're a little stressed or the relationship is stressing you out a little bit for X, Y, Z reason. Um, all right. Well, tell me more about this King of Pentacles for Libra and love. What is this King of Pentacles for Libra and love? What or who? <laughs> okay. The Three of Wands. So... Oh, King of Pentacles. So it feels like 
this is the king of pentacles you've been waiting on you've been waiting on this king of pentacles or hoping for like advancement um or hoping for like a commitment or to move to another level um or maybe you just want more time from this king of pentacles but the king of pentacles typically is like very much invested in their work their career and stuff like that okay Some of you, I hope there's like not a marriage. Maybe this person's married and you've been hoping they make their mind up. Ah, you may not. Six of Swords reverse for Libra love. Knight of Cups in the reverse. The world. The Three of Cups. Some of you I'm getting, you could, yeah, you could be in a relationship with this King of Pentacles. Um, perhaps you want to leave this person though, I am getting, okay? But circumstances could be in the way. Um, Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups reverse and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like, uh, Libra, you want this. I feel like someone wants to like, they either want this King of Pentacles to make a move. Um, to leave something, to figure something out, to be done with something. Or um, you want to leave this King of Pentacles, okay? This could be your partner. And maybe there is someone else on the outside that you're interested in. But there's a need to make an effort here um, if you want what you want. Whether if it's on your end or their end. Why do I feel like this is a, this feels like a third party situation. I feel like somebody wants the other person to make a choice here. Like it's me or them or just know this king of pentacles is they're ready to have some kind of conversation with you. Okay. Um, and you have two threes here. The king of pentacles definitely can show up for someone who's in a relationship. Um, Ooh, the Three of Pentacles again, the Four of Cups, and the High Priest. You have way too many threes in this reading, Libra. Um, so if it, I mean, third party doesn't always have to be a person. Could be work, could be anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be um, a person all the time. But you feel like things aren't going anywhere or you feel like it's just stagnant or something like that with this person and you're about fed up with this person for xyz reason give me more information what's coming to libra and love so you're like look if you don't say something or do something i'm just gonna have to just like you know just move on or something okay you have the lovers reverse Yeah, someone could make could want the other person to make some sort of choice here. <sighs> or to make some kind of change. Huh. But if someone doesn't do it, I just kind of feel like someone's going to get to the point to where they're going to just like move on. Um so yeah, Libra, <laughs> this person, if you're in a third party or you've been focusing more on your work or your finances are taking more of your priority, I feel like this person wants you to kind of like do what you got to do um, sooner rather than later because it feels like this person may be getting a bit impatient with you. Um, for others of you, if it's them with the third party, I feel like you're kind of running out of patience. Um, you Maybe you've been trying your best to be understanding about their work or their schedule or you know um their third party crap but i feel like you're getting to the point to where you're just like ready to just release them if they can't get it together okay so I, there is some kind of instability in this connection whether that be financially or whatever okay 
I do feel like someone wants to wants um for others of you, someone wants the other person to let go of their past. Okay. So I mean Libra, I think you could definitely expect and with express your love, I feel like it's saying to express your feelings to this person, whatever that may be. Give this freaking ultimatum, whatever it is, however this resonates for you, Libra. Okay, or they may get, give you an um, ultimatum, Libra. Okay. Oh, someone could be waiting on a divorce. Or maybe you're currently going through a divorce with this person and you want them to hurry up and... Because you don't want to be with that freak, which I understand. This King of Pentacles may still try to, like, work out their relationship with you. Perhaps they're postponing the uh, divorce papers on purpose. Okay. Challenges. You have patience. Just a few more months. Give it time. Hmm. You could be connecting with a water sign. You have no. Maybe it's not the right time right now, Libra, but that's not to say it never will be. Um intuition earth sign taurus virgo and capricorn okay so um again i'm i'm strongly getting a third party situation here someone could be committed elsewhere okay there could be distance why is it doing that don't do that to me it keeps turning yellow But, alrighty, Libra, so that is what I am seeing for you with this person. Um, so, again, if you're waiting for someone to make a move or if you're hoping things will get better, I feel like they could potentially improve or there will be a move made, but it's going to take a little while longer. Could even, it could even take up to a, like a few months or something for things to improve. I feel like your main question is, should I stay or should I go? Should I wait on this person? You know, is it worth, like, being patient for? But I feel like you guys are about to have, like, a really important conversation here. Um, and that should clear up, you know, everything. All your questions. If you're in a separation from your person and you're hoping to get back together, it may not be the right time to. And they may even tell you that they want you to be patient with them, Libra, or they, you know, something like that. They may want you to be patient, but I mean, that doesn't mean you will be, right? Libra. Um, someone wants you to stand by them. They don't want you to leave them or someone could be worried about someone else, you know, leaving, weathering out the storm. Someone wants you to weather out the storm with them, Libra. <sighs> There could be children involved. That could be what, what makes it even more difficult. Um, but it does say to choose love. Choose love. There are trust issues in the situation. Hmm. All right. And then you have social media. Could be a third party. And should I stay? But again, third party, it, don't, don't lose it, okay? <laughs> Third party doesn't always mean another person. It could be like there's different schedules or uh, work finance issues or whatever. Okay. But yeah, I feel like this person doesn't want you to go anywhere, Libra. So just prepare for this conversation they want to have with you. Okay. Have my kids. I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be an amazing parent. I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. Okay. Others' opinions. I feel bound by my culture, my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. So, hmm. 
Yeah, Libra. Hmm. This person says, will you listen? There's so many things I want to tell you. Okay, but will you hear me all the way out? Would you even believe me? So, I think you guys are definitely going to talk. You guys will, you will get the truth or you will get like an update or something, Libra. Um, I, I mean, I feel like this person is serious about you, but it's going to, it's going to be your, your free will at the end of the day. You know, I can't like tell you what to do. It's going to be your free will. Um, two of pentacles. Yeah, there is juggling going on here. What is the um, advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra when it comes to this love situation? What is the advice? Maybe there's a need for you guys to like compromise or something like that as well. Um, you have the three of wands, the seven of swords, the verse. Wow. So it feels like, again, like it's still a waiting thing. I feel like what, what you're wanting with this person could definitely happen, but it would happen um, in like a three month time frame or it's probably going to take just a little while longer. Um, yeah. Also getting like three weeks. Because it doesn't feel like, like it's not going to happen. Because whoever they're with, they're, they don't want that freak. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Libra, for being here with me, darlings. And I will talk to you guys. Ooh, why is my camera doing that? I'll talk to you guys soon.